actually here? Brother. Might be pissed he activated the machine again. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Ow. What the heck was that for? This was an insanely risky move. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season two, episode 12 of Gravity Falls, A Tale of Two Stands. Yes, this wow, makes sense. Wow, okay. Given that last episode we learned Stan has a brother that mm -hmm. was trapped behind that machine, whatever it was, and now is back in Gravity Falls. What are your first thoughts before we jump in? I mainly want to know the specifics of whatever that time machine portal, whatever. Really? Just because like- I want to know everything about the brother. Okay, well, yeah. The that, author. It, yes, but I, I mean, I guess that's just going to like change the situation so much depending on like if he's aware of what's going on, if he knew time was passing, if he like- all of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, how they're going to move forward. I, I That's that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, I'm just really interested to see, like, how if he, is he an older or younger brother? Are they twins, just like mm. Dipper and Mabel? Oh, that would be fun. Well, Tale of Two Stands. Maybe they've just both been living as one person. Interesting. Yeah. Um, okay. We'll have to see. But if you're excited for this uh, lore-packed episode of Gravity Falls, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below for episodes How coming do you know every. It's lore packed. Because their brother just showed up. Okay. That has to have be <laughs> okay. lore. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below for episodes coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon and they're extended full length forms. All right, are we excited for episode 12 of season two of Gravity Falls? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Seems like a flashback. It might be filmed with lost prehistoric life forms or Mesoamerican gold. Tiny Stan. Oh. Oh. <laughs> good thing you've got your smarts, Poindexter. I've got the other thing. Punching. <laughs> so wait, is that Stan? Ooh, yeah. But Stan wears glasses now. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Like Stan wears glasses yeah, now. Yeah, so that... But he... But his brother also was wearing glasses. Interesting. I definitely initially got Stan vibes from the one with the band-aid on the face. Yeah, and the punch. Yeah, look at his face. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right? the one. Yeah, right? Like... Don't worry, bro. Wherever we go, we go together. Don't forget to leave our names so they know who owns the place. Mine! Mine! Stanford. Mine. Two stands. Ah. Oh. Stanley and Stanford. Oh. Okay. That was an interesting parent choice. Yeah. Two kids with different names, but the same nickname. That's funny. That is funny. Wait, was that a new... <laughs> is that a new photo? I think that is. I don't think we've seen I've it. I've never noticed that, but that's not necessarily... Because that would have given us a hint about his yeah. face. Looking extra Finally. spooky. Mm -hmm. All these long years of waiting, you're actually here. Brother. Might be pissed he activated the machine again. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Wow. This was an insanely risky move. Restarting the portal. JK Simmons! It's JK Tenzin? Simmons! It's Ted. Amazing. And the guy who says Spider-Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, Spider-Man! Yeah. <laughs> How's about maybe a thanks for saving you from what appears to be, I don't know, some kind of sci-fi sideburn dimension? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sideburn. What I did? Why you ungrateful? Don't push him in. Hey, hi, Mabel here. Quick question: What the heck is going on here? <laughs> and some sort of large hairless gopher? <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> Does kind of look like that. Shermie's grandkids. Shermie's grandkids. So wait, they what? I'm confused. How what? it? I think they have another sibling. How are Dipper and Mabel not? the same relationship to stan and they are the other guy they are i thought you just said these are your grandkids grand niece and nephew i have a niece and nephew greetings do kids still say greetings i haven't been in this dimension not really a long time six fingered hands dimension a full finger friendlier than normal <laughs> yeah why does he have yeah. six fingers i've been waiting for so long to meet you i, I don't know what to say i have so many questions i I think throw it. <laughs> Montana's been there. Real. Just gotta write it out. Listen, <laughs> time for introductions later. First, 
Tell me, Stan, does anyone else know about this? Board? They're all coming no, this way. Us. Also, maybe the entire U.S. government. The what? <laughs> We've got a while before they find this room. We just need to lay low and think of a plan. He's very much the dipper. Yeah, right. Mysterious backstory. Yes, I have some questions about all this myself, Stanley. Stanley? But your name is Stanley. Ah. Wait, you took my <gasps> He's been living as him. Maybe that's why he wears the glasses. Does he actually not need them? Oh. Uh, did he like his brother's life more? <laughs> Hoping all this aligns exactly with my fanfic, Stan. If not, I will be very disappointed. Okay. <laughs> that has to be that's a call funny. out to every Gravity Falls fan. I know it has to that's be. That's hilarious. I know I have a lot of explaining to do. It all started 1960 something. Oh, Glass heck yeah. Beach, Glass shark. Explanation. Beach. A knuckle sandwich. The lead paint district. That's funny. Mom was a liar, which served her well as a phone psychic. And then there was my nerdy twin brother Stanford. As if his abnormally high IQ wasn't enough. Okay. Had a rare birth defect. As for me, I had what mom liked to call personality. That's the Mabel. Yeah. So they're identical twins, but they have different or they're not they can't be identical twins. Yeah. So this is where we started at the beginning of that. Yeah. Kings of New Jersey. Kings of New Jersey. Kings oh God. Oh no. That's not good. It was like you in LA that one time. Oh God. Don't remind me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, well, if it ain't the loser twins, you're a six-fingered freak, and you're just a dumber, sweatier version of him. <laughs> wow, you got him. Very cool. Don't let those idiots get to you. I just wonder if there's anywhere in the world where weirdos like me fit in. Hey, chin Gravity up, Falls. Look, one of these days, you and me are going to sail away from this dumb town. You really mean it? Hi, six. Hi, six. <laughs> Aww. Cute. That's cute. Very sweet. Ford's brain seemed to get more impressive every year. So did our pet project. What do you think? You're some kind of smart guy. Do you see that? I thought it was wise guy, but oh. Not all of us are legible. That... <laughs> <laughs> leave that so there. true, leave babe. That there. The future was looking bright for both of us. Until one day. Time switch to the principal's office. Ah, great. What is it this time? They're in trouble. Nah. Now, nah. nah, Mr. Page, I'd like to speak with you very frankly, if I may. Very frankly. Wait, is this Mike from Better Call Saul? Sorry, oh God, from Breaking Bad? Very frankly is the only way I speak. <laughs> it's Mike. One yep. Wow. The other one is standing outside this room and his name's Stanley. <laughs> I'm saying your son Stanford is a genius. All his teachers are going bananas over his science fair experiment. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was the science experiment? We're idiots. We have to look at what it was. Perpetual, Perpetual motion, motion machine. machine. Is this like the stepping stone? It's like an infinite motor. Creation? Saying your son and that's Azula's a voice actress, I think. <laughs> you ever heard of West Coast Tech? Best college in the country. Their graduates turn science fiction into science fact. Your son may be a future millionaire, Mr. Pines. I'm impressed. Well, what about <laughs> our little free spirit Stanley? That clown, there's a saltwater taffy store on the dock, and somebody's got to get paid to scrape the barnacles off of it. Stanley Dang. Oh. <laughs> Joke's on them if they think you want to go to some stuffy college on the other side of the country. I can't pass up a chance like this. This school has cutting-edge programs and multi-dimensional paradigm theory. Yep. Oh, this side of the country, maybe this is how they get to Oregon. If the college board is oh. with my experiment tomorrow, then okay, I'll do the treasure hunting thing. He's gonna sabotage it. Oh no. Yeah. Without Ford, I was just half of a dynamic duo. I couldn't make it out there without him. This is all your fault, you dumb machine! Oh, no. Oh no no. Okay, he didn't really try to break it. Yeah, that wasn't on purpose. Good as new. Oh, right, but now it's moving. like extra sabotage because it looks exactly the same, but he's going to show it off. Oh, it's going to no. break. What would you say if I told you the future of technology was beneath this shit? I'd say we wasted a car. No. What? It was stable yesterday. A uh, fuse must have blown or something. Kid, a perpetual motion machine has one shot to not stop. No, wait, don't go. Oh, oh and he knows the snack. snack. Explain what this was doing next to my broken project. I might have accidentally been horsing around. This was no accident, Stan. You did this. Really was an accident. Maybe there's a silver lining. Huh? 
Treasure hunting? Why would I want to do anything with the person who sabotaged my entire future? You did uh. what, you knucklehead? Oh no. They had another and baby? That's, that's the grandmother of... Or grandfather of them. Okay. Your brother was going to be our ticket out of this dump. And until you make us a fortune, you're not welcome in this household. Whoa. What? Oh my Stan, God. Tell him he's being crazy. Stan, That's a little nuts. Yikes. Yeah. Fine. I can make it on my own. <sighs> Thanks to one dumb mistake, I had no brother, no home, no nothing. But I had a plan to fix everything. What was his plan? And they're still mad after all these years. Yeah. yeah. You two little broken teacups need to hide <laughs> out. Yeah. James, coming to the station. Mm. I'm trying to tell my life story here. I had decided I wasn't going to show my face at home till I proved I could make something of myself. Luckily, I struck another kind of gold. <laughs> it fails. I'm Stan Pies of Stan Co. Enterprise. <laughs> Are you sick of this always happening to you? That's the sham total. It's a total sham. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Apparently the cheap dye I used to color them only made stains worse. Luckily they were chasing me with Stanco brand pitchforks. <laughs> I was a fan from New Jersey. But with a quick name change, Steve Pinington was ready to take on Pennsylvania. Oh, that's why he has all the, the uh, different gotcha. identities. Gotcha. Right. The ripoff. The ripoff won't <laughs> give rashes. I repeat, it That's won't funny. Give it gave you rashes. <laughs> I traveled the whole country, sometimes outside of it, always one step ahead of the law. All the way to Oregon. Whoa, so that explains all the fake IDs. Oh, wait, what about you? Wait, was Gravity Falls in Oregon or Washington? Oregon. Oregon, cool. All right, I know backups more wasn't anyone's first choice. <laughs> I went from undergrad to PhD three years ahead of schedule. Wrote a thesis that was nationally ranked. Good Lord. But what to study? My whole life I'd been teased for my six fingers, but that got me thinking about anomalies. Ah, Gravity Falls. Very cool. And according to my investigations, there was one place with a higher concentration of these things than anywhere else. Gravity Falls. Steve's I'm banned in. <laughs> that pushed him to Gravity Falls. Owl. Football player with an omelet. Gah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I love that. Oh, I was heading out on my own as well. That's sad. I set to work using my grant money to investigate the strange properties of He town. made the mystery what shack. I find here? Oh. It's like the Iron Giant. And so maybe that's just why Stan took over his life. Yeah. I knew I'd have to record my findings. I, there we go. So I made the journal. I began to keep a journal. Ah, the journal. <laughs> 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 He's so real for that. I began to keep a journal. <laughs> <laughs> Going to ignore that. There were anomalies everywhere. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's the that, shapeshifter. Oh my goodness. And they trapped it. What did you say your name was? Shmebulok. <laughs> but something nagged at me. Oh, that's Where did sweet. It all come from? It seems to me the answer must lie outside of our world. A dimension of weirdness leaking into ours. The only way to understand Gravity Falls would be to build a gateway. I wonder if you met Bill Cipher before yeah. this. Oh, interesting. I decided to call up my old college buddy, Middleford McGucket. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wasting his talent trying to make personal computers McGucket. in some garage in Palo Alto. Personal <laughs> computers. In Palo Alto. What? What's the city? Is that where... Uh, Apple it's, was made? Yeah. Yeah, that's where Apple was made. I mean, Sick. a lot of a lot of tech. So he was ahead of his time. Is that you're trying to build a trans-universal polydimensional metavortex? Well, that's mathematically feasible. <laughs> Many long nights spent <laughs> perfecting the machine. Yep, so they made it together. Okay. An answer to the source of this town's anomaly. Get out, get out, get out! <laughs> that's his mom. That's cute. And... Oh! What? oh. Oh, and is this how he ends up weird? I don't... Maybe? Because it, like, fries maybe. his head. Yeah. That made him see things he never wants to see. Oh, he's yeah. speaking backwards. Oh, my goodness. Bill Cipher. 
Yeah. You'll bring about the end of the world with this. Destroy it before it destroys us all! I fear we've unleashed a grave danger on the world. One I'd just as soon forget. I quit! Fine! I'll do it without you! Interesting. This makes it clear how difficult it would be for Stanford to... For Stan that? to copy this. Very true. Wait, whoa, whoa, somebody was talking to him. Hold on. I don't need you. Are I you hearing whispers? Mm. Yeah. What? Uh, Spill. I was in yeah. over my head and feared I was losing my sanity. I needed help. Someone I could trust. Just give me a few more days, Rico. I'll pay your goons back, I swear. No, oh, he just goes by Ford. That's, That's funny. cute. Who is it? Have you come to steal my eyes? Oh, no. Well, I can always count on you for a warm welcome. <laughs> ah, hey, what is this? Sorry, I just had to make sure you weren't. Uh, it's nothing. Bill Cipher. <laughs> yeah. Getting haunted, maybe his dreams. Or just really paranoid. Oh, this explains like the experiment number seventy-three thing. Yeah. He made all these experiments. Mm -hmm. I've made huge mistakes, and I don't know who I can trust anymore. Hey, <laughs> easy there. Let's talk. <laughs> okay. Slow, okay. I have something to show you. Whatever it is, I'll understand. There is nothing about this I understand. Yeah. <laughs> a punched hole through a weak spot in our dimension. I created it. To oh, perfect. That clears it up. Universe. There's only one journal left, and you are the only person I can trust to take it. Remember our plans to sail around the world on a boat? Take this book, get on a boat, and sail as far away as you can, to the edge of the earth. Bury it where no one can find it. Why not just destroy it? it? You finally want to see right? me after 10 years, and it's to tell me to get as far away from you as possible? I once had to chew my way out of the trunk of a car. You think you oh, have problems? I've got a mullet, Stanford! Huh. You want me to get rid of this book? Fine, I'll get rid of it right now. If this sends him in there, I'm gonna but, be so upset. Oh Damn yeah. Yep. Oh no. Oh, the symbol. Oh boy. That's why he has the thing on his back. Oh, nice. You care more about your dumb mysteries than your family? Well, then you can have them. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Of course he's gonna get him out. What? Oh, he's been trying to fix it for that long. Oh. And oh, he and this is why he has the that glasses. That yeah. So that's. Oh. Wow. I can't lose him again. No. Oh, come on. oh wow, that explains why he became so, like, bitter. You know. Yeah. Choice but to go into town. And that's the shop that they that was haunted. Mm -hmm. And that hip hop is what killed them. Hey, that's, that's funny. No stranger. That must be the mysterious science guy that lives in the woods. Uh, no, this is where he takes yeah, his identity. Mysterious lights <laughs> and spooky experiments. Gosh. Trainee. Yeah. What kind of shenanigans you get up to in there? Do you ever give tours? No, really, I. And that's her before she had the lazy Inspiration. eye. Inspiration. Yes, I do give tours. Oh. And then he started scamming. You man of mystery. Oh, a Stan Ford. I mean, it's a perfect situation to take it over. Yeah, I mean. The world of enchantment or whatever. My eye! Oh, no. I assure you, that is in no way permanent. I paid $15 for this? You're lucky you weren't part of the last tour group. Um. They never made it out alive! <laughs> okay. So they don't like the real stuff, they just like the fake. It's all coming together. Mm -hmm. That's funny. So I came up That's them before the tattoos. I couldn't leave my brother's house until I figured out how to save him. But I needed to pay his mortgage somehow. What about the grant <laughs> money? And so the murder hut was born. Later renamed the mystery shack. The murder hut. Uh. The old me was dead. To car crash to prove it. Oh. Stanford Pines, Mr. Mystery. But by night, I was down in the mission. So I lied to everyone. So all this time you were just trying to save your brother. Corporal Stan, I'm so sorry. It I makes sense. It yeah. really all makes sense. I heard talking. It was coming from downstairs. Oh 
no, it's too late. The agents are coming for us. What do we do? Oh, so Maybe not yell. Like dramatic tale. I forgot all about those dudes. Wait, forget. I think I know a way we might be able to defeat those agents. Aha! Oh. Of course. If I can just amplify the signal to a radio headset frequency. Oh, he's so smart. Oh, he's so useful. Let's go. Looks like there's a hidden door behind the vending machine. Get me Washington on line one. I've been practicing making sounds of excitement for this very occasion. <laughs> he didn't have a sense of humor. That's funny. Oh. And they closed it. Why am I standing in some sort of goofy, fun knickknack house? Stand down, <laughs> gentlemen. I've been sent with the latest intel from Washington. The power surges in Gravity Falls were actually due to radiation from an unreported meteor shower. And I'll need all of your floppy disks and, uh, eight tracks. Everything about this case is contained on this drive. Well, what are you waiting for? A kiss on the cheek? Great. Get out of here before I have your <laughs> court martial. False alarm, everyone. <laughs> he nailed all right. that. You shouldn't that, maybe not be driving. No. Or flying a helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Great, nice. Peter, that was amazing. That's maybe. the way to really get rid of something. Yeah. Thank you, kids. But please call me Ford. Thanks, great Uncle Ford. So, uh, would you mind if That's I ask cute. you a couple billion questions about Gravity Falls? It's been a long day, and me and my brother have a lot to talk about. So why don't you hit the hay, huh? But it's the author. I've been waiting so long to ask questions about... <laughs> He's gonna keep clicking that pen. I'll just let myself out. Wendy, I've got something amazing to tell you. Clear the next oh. hours. You can stay here for the summer to watch the kids. But when the summer's over, you give me my house back, you give me my name back, and this mystery shack junk is over forever. You really aren't going to thank me, are you? Fine. He saved it. Mm, yeah. Stay away from the kids. I don't want them in danger. Because as far as I'm concerned, they're the only family I have left. Oh. Why is he so bitter? Like... I know he, okay, he did get launched into a dimension by his brother, but like he saved him. I don't know. This is, feels drastic to not at least acknowledge that. You don't agree? <laughs> You're really thinking on this one. I, well, cause I'm trying to figure out why exactly I'm having a hard time with that train of logic. Like it's not even logic so much as like some level of like, I know you made a mistake, but thank you for getting me out of there. Yeah, but if the same person who got you out is the reason you're in there, it's kind of like... He was also... Okay, congratulations for unfucking up your fuck up. Do you want a treat? Okay, yeah, I, guess, um, I get that. And then separately, the fact that objectively Ford's life was so much better and then it was taken over, I feel like there's... And also turned into like this knick-knack shack. Yeah. Like... That just, I, I get why that's not sitting yeah, well okay. with him. I get that. I think Uncle Ford said they're going to buy us puppies made of ice cream. Might be wishful thinking, though. Awesome. Oh. I like the way things were here before. Just yeah. us and Stan and the occasional goblin monster. Well, I'm sure they'll work things out. <laughs> Dipper, you know what? Uh, sometimes it's more fun when you what? don't know. What do you mean? Oh. I mean, they used to be best friends, but then they got all stupid. Can you promise me you won't get stupid? Not stupider than you, dum dum. Hmm. Good night, stupid. And a floppy disk on the shirt. Okay, okay. Oh, so very up, funny. Second Stan, the Stan <laughs> you know, was actually Stanley, but the first Stan was Stanford <laughs> by Stanford. This is Stanford me talking about FNAF lore Stanford, to you. He it, did the portal. What is the? Oh, oh, oh! I know it. I know it. Um. What? The F Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> For, what is that? Is what, that? Go that? on. I don't know the rest of it. Do you know anything else? <laughs> I don't. So you know Freddy Fazbear? From Freddy Fazbear? <laughs> like it's... <laughs> I don't know what comes after it. I just know that there's a lot of repeating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At least you didn't give birth to Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> because William Afton... <laughs> okay, I missed that part completely. Yeah, but it's just funny. Like, but that's but Freddy Fazbear. Oh, we got Freddy. Okay. Act two. Stan started. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is where we are left for episode twelve of season two of Gravity Falls. Is that a thirty-eight sided die from Dungeons, Dungeons, and More Dungeons? Yeah. You you know that game? With pen and paper, shield and sword, our quest shall be our sweet reward! They're the 
Same person. That is funny. What are your first thoughts? Fantastic. That was amazing. I've, wow. Goodness gracious. There There was a lot of lore. Yeah, no, that, yeah. I'm so excited to see what Dipper's, like, first questions are. Like, how those first interactions go. Yeah, I'm just wondering how, like, he's going to fit into the plot now. Like, are we just going to stay on this accelerated, like, end track type thing? Like, it feels like we're getting to the end game. Also, there's that prophecy from McGucket. Yeah, I kind of feel like the first Stan and Dipper and Mabel might go along with what new Stan wants to do, but with like a secondary motivation of like, maybe if we're so cool and fun and helpful and unproblematic that maybe he'll change his mind. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see, but uh, if you enjoyed that episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more episodes every Tuesday. And check out the Patreon to see these episodes, which are posted there right now. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions, we answer after every episode of any show we watch. Join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Quan Solo asks, how does this episode recontextualize some of Stan's past behavior to you, such as his bond with Wax Stan or his obsession with money? That is so interesting. Uh, or that in Carpe Diem, he finds a pair of uh, Ford's glasses in the room and can be seen, be seen staring at them later in the episode. That's so cool. The Wax statue is interesting. Yeah, that really is because, I mean, it reads as very self-absorbed to like just i mean you're literally self-obsessed we probably just wanted his twin back yeah like that's that, so that sad. completely makes it like a fully different situation and then money wise being told like oh your brother's gonna be the one who like gets us out of this terrible situation and then to be the one who like tanks the brother's situation and then like try to step into his shoes it makes sense that he would feel like he needed to be very financially successful but i don't think he was paying for his parents is he no he's just paying the mortgage right interesting yeah i think it was more that he wanted to basically make enough money to stay afloat while trying to save him Mm -hmm. and uh he went to great lengths for that but yeah his behavior a lot of it makes sense a few things i'm like if you saw dipper was so capable and able to find them like why would you not get their help like that's such a good point like kids are better at finding stuff than adults i mean maybe maybe if you know how dangerous it is and you've already lost a family member you don't want to like get them involved in that stuff yeah i get that but like when they walk up with journal number two yeah you gotta be or journal number three you gotta be like okay they're already in danger because they're involved yeah. Like, yeah, um, but uh, definitely re- makes a lot more sense. Mm-hmm. The wax thing. Uh, and what was the other example? money? Um, yeah, the obsession with money just to keep enough money to like keep stuff afloat and like fund fixing everything. Like mm-hmm. it makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's go to our second question. Question two. Annabelle asks, now that we've seen so much backstory, do you spot any parallels between Stan and Ford and Dipper and Mabel character wise, plot wise, etc.? 100 percent. I mean, the like more studious more serious more grounded individual and then the more like fun loving silly less focused more chaotic a little exactly the kind of one for one comparison in terms of their dynamic it does seem like ford was like more irritated by stan than dipper is with mabel but they're also not at the age that the stands were, which like theoretically, if things continued the same way with Dipper and Mabel, they might get to that point. I don't know, I'm hopeful now that they like have seen it in action, they know what they need to do to prevent it. Yeah, and I it, I agree, it is just super interesting that they're not at that point yet, but yeah. they, they were at the point where they were still friends and it's like hard to kind of tell where it's gonna go. But I think you're right that seeing the end and knowing where it could go to 
is going to change them to be better. And also there's been moments of development, but like it is clear that Mabel has disregarded Dipper's feelings more than Dipper disregarding Mabel. Very true. Um, But in recent episodes, she's been sort of doing changing a little bit, but like they really could go the same way. It depends. But it's also that same feeling that brought back the uncle because she refused to hit the button. Very there's, true. There's a give and take, but uh, I'm interested to see if there's more parallels and uh, if they start gravitating towards each other. Like Gravitating? It's interesting that haha it's interesting that immediately when he met Mabel he's like I like you and it's like because he's like your brother right, yeah I hope that the brothers can make up over time yeah fingers crossed hope all six of them yeah ha <laughs> ha wait that's gotta be crazy that's just you're just making a claw well you're because you're crossing all of them they have to cross them separately no it has to be two separate entities like that so this would be cr- okay you can't just be like because this isn't a claw <laughs> This is, no, this is a ninja turtle. And then you can, look, if you put this here. How is this a ninja turtle? And then you put this here. What are you doing to me? We're turtle. How? Turtle. Turtle. You don't see how this is a turtle? No, where's the? The hand, turtles have hands like this. What are you doing? Ninja turtles. I don't. You don't know about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? The ones with Renaissance painter names? Yeah. They have I have not seen them. Oh, I thought they had regular turtle hands. Turtles don't have hands. Turtles. You thought that they just wielded weapons with their flippers? <laughs> I hadn't really thought weirdo. about it this much. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, there was no no other unique questions, so can we end it cool. there? Sure. That was a fantastic episode. I, for one, cannot wait to hear more about the lore, and I am happy that I was low-key spot on with my guests. Yeah, go you. Bam. Very cool. Are we excited for episode 13 of Gravity Falls Season 2? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.